ni vyema wakati ambapo unamheshimu Mungu si kuheshimu binadamu tu. Biblia inatuambia kwamba uoga wa binadamu ni kuogopa watu, watu ambao a, wanakuona, watu ambao maybe wako karibu na wewe. Ni vyema umche Mungu wakati ambapo umeweka mikakati, weka mikakati ambayo inamuogopa Mungu katika mahusiano yako. Wakati ambapo unanjingiza katika uhusiano wowote ule, heshimu maisha yako hata ukiingia katika ndoa, heshimu ndoa yako kwa sababu the moment maybe you may cheat on your husband or your wife, but God knows everything of what you did. Umejingiza kwa to another vows and covenant that you cannot break. Wakati ambapo umejingiza kwa soul ties ambazo haujavunja ni kumaanisha ya kwamba umenjingiza kwa mikataba ingine. Labda mtu ambao umelala naye ametoka katika 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 family tree ambao yao ni family tree ambao iko na polygamous. Ni, po, ni family tree ambao iko na uzinzi. Family tree ambao iko na waizi. Family tree ambao iko na wachawi. Then the moment you have slept with that person, you are, you, you have not even broken the tie, that soul ties. Now you have put you have brought them to your husband or your wife. Umempelekea bibi yako. Unapata now the moment you are entering into another relationship. Haujavunja ile uhusiano wa kwanza. Maybe you have slept with somebody in your relationship. Now then you, without breaking that relationship, you have carried all the curses and soul ties. Now you are abandoned on your shoulder and you are going to to enter into marriage now you are saying we have come instead you were saying i have come we get married even when you are making vows in the church you are saying we have come because you are many the luggage that you are carrying the burdens that you are carrying you are carrying for many people you are have a lot of things on your shoulder you are carrying witchcraft you are carrying you are carrying and Otari, you are carrying all the kind of, all the sort of sins in you because you have been entering into from one relationship to another. You have not healed. You have no boundaries. You sleep with anybody that you meet. Even some of us meet the person the first day and you slept that with that person. Remember the person that you are sleeping with. You don't know him all. Uh, it is good when you enter into a relationship. Go for a, a special counseling and deliver for both of you. It doesn't matter you are saved. It doesn't matter how many years you have been in a relationship. Maybe in the, from the family that you are born, there are some things that have been recurring in your family. It is good when you are delivered before you do a wedding, before you went in the church. Go for a deliverance section from your pastor, from whoever you are. Just go for a, a section of deliverance. Let God deliver you before you enter into marriage because you will clear the environment of your marriage because you will not carry things. You will not go saying that we have come. You will just say by yourself, I have come to get married to you, to marry you, you personally. Because if you don't repent, if you don't, uh, if you don't break all those soul ties, they will disturb you. The marriage will never stand because utakuwa tu unaanya kwa ndoa. Utakuwa tu unaenda unatamani wanawake wengine. But when that spirit is broken, you will have sense of God fearing in you. You will fear the voice of God. You will listen to what God wants and God is saying about the relationship, about the marriage. You will honor your husband. You will honor your wife. You will respect each other. You will discuss all your matters together. Amen. It is good when you listen. The fourth thing is, the the interrogation to the extended family when you get married and be ready to interact with the people of the family of the person you are getting married or you are about to get married to or getting married to because those two people the people the family members should also accept you it is more important when the family members interact with you and accept you as one of their family members it makes your life easy it also makes your relationship work better because they will support you even when your partner is not in the good uh, in the good terms you, they will help you and they will also pray for you because they have already accepted you to both the families, when you the parents have blessed you, you can you can go far miles when you are together than when you are alone. 
Sometimes it is good uh, when it is it, when God allows it is good you get married when the parents have have not acknowledged you to be among their family members. It is good when you consult God. If God says yes, it's okay. If God does it, speak. Don't enter yourself thinking that you love each other, my friend. You will suffer in the